Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the PlayStation Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Immortals of Avium running on PlayStation 5. And this is something, so let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's 59.88 GB. It's of course installed on the internal SSD and the game is a full price, triple A priced game. So it's 80 euros for the standard edition and 90 euros for the deluxe uh, edition. You get a little bit of a discount like 10% off if you have a EA Play subscription. Let's go start it up, you guys. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a weekly basis, new games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Immortals of Avium is one of the first games that's completely built up in the Unreal 5 engine. It uses all the, 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 the stuff you can imagine like Lumen and... and, and all those other things it has it it's has a lot to do but it it's i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest it's it's not good the resolution is yeah it's it's atrocious i think that's the best way to describe it it's one of the worst resolutions i've seen on a current gen exclusive game so this game is not available on last gen consoles it's only on PlayStation 5, Series S, Series X, and PC. And holy moly. From what I could gather, the game runs at a dynamic checkerboarded uh, resolution between 800 and 900p at 60 FPS on your PlayStation 5. And yeah, you can definitely see that. It's... It, it's... It's not good. It's not good. Uh, of course, this is one of the first games made up in the, the, the Unreal 5 engine. But still, my goodness gracious, this, this resolution, especially if you're playing this on a big screen TV, then this is, this is not fun to watch. It looks really pixelated. Uh, super washed out. And yeah, overall, I, I've watched some trailers and even the, the PlayStation 5 trailers, they just showed off the PC version of this game. It's, it, it's nowhere close to those graphics. And that's sad because the game itself is awesome. It's a really fun game. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's a really fun game, and if you like a good uh, first-person action adventure, you're definitely gonna like this game without a doubt. Because I've been liking it thus far a lot. I've been playing it on my Xbox uh, a lot already, and uh, now also on my PlayStation 5. By the way, PlayStation 5 and Series X versions are like 99.99% the same. They both run on a dynamic resolution at, uh, like, yeah, between 900p and, uh, and, and 800p dynamic. It does use uh, stuff like uh, Fidelity FX, but even that, yeah, it, it just got saved. It's really sad because it's not a bad game. It's actually a pretty fun game. But yeah, I, I don't think that I've seen a few games right now on the on the Unreal 5 engine, like Layers of Fear. Didn't use Lumen, but it looked amazing. Uh, I played Fortnite, of course. Brilliant looking game. Also Unreal Engine 5. There are a couple of more. But let's be honest, most of them are meh at best. 
But the gameplay itself is it's perfect. I have a lot of fun with this game. Fire a talent. Okay. Well, let's just pick this one. Critical damage up. Still a little bit at the start of the game, but this is one of those instances where a lot happens. You can see it here already with all the lights. It's so pixelated. Even the grounds. It's oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be an insane graphics junkie to see that this is low standards and there are no extra modes so this is it there's no uh, motion blur off there's no uh, resolution mode or quality mode this is it this is the only way to play this game and you know between these really pixelated graphics and, and, and low resolutions, there is a real good looking game. It just doesn't come out <laughs> that much. Too bad. Great. Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? Jack, report in. Look at the resolution okay. right now of her face. You can literally Drop count me. the pixels. Heading back your way. I need you to do the same. Now, Rasharnians are this close to breaching the East Battlement. On it, sir. Just let me, just let me get my bearings. Yeah, you make pretty insane. Today? You better find them fast. Not gonna lie. That said, it is one of the first games in Unreal Engine 5. They still need to figure out how to make this engine work on new gen consoles. And this is not a good first Look, what are they doing not going to And that's, yeah, a little bit disappointing, especially for a game that's like 80 euros. My oh my. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I was expecting a little bit more from this. And the funny thing is, the game itself is a lot of fun. But 80 still, 80 euros? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit expensive. By the way, made by a brand new studio. Um, from people that worked on um, games like like uh, Dead Space and Call of Duty, so it's a brand new studio with a lot of great people that know how to make a trophy and list it. You see that there is a really cool game in here. My goodness, these graphics. Yeah, pretty sad. But yeah, you guys, this is Immortals of Avium running on PlayStation 5. And um, yeah, it, it definitely needs a few more tweaks to be uh, considered a... a 80 bucks game to buy um you guys i really want to thank you for watching i hope you had fun hope to see you guys soon in another one <laughs> bye